Hi, I'm Dr. Jan Jaffer, and this is Got Teeth, a patient-centric monthly podcast featuring local health experts. Hi, so today I'm talking to Chelsea, who's one of the instructors at the State Dental Assisting School. So thank you for joining us. Oh, thank you for having me. Great. Excited to be here. So tell us a little bit about dental assisting. So, I mean, why would somebody want to get into dental assisting? Dental assisting is a fantastic career. It's something that you can um, take easily Mm -hmm. and branch out into many different aspects within the dental world. So um, primarily as a dental assistant, you work side by side with the dentist, chair side, helping with all the day-to-day procedures. But not only that, you also will work maybe a bit of administrative at the front, sterilization, some lab work. So you really get a full experience within the dental office. You're a vital part of the dental, of I, the dental I would, office. I would I would absolutely agree. I mean, it's you know, I mean, having a dental assistant with a dentist. I mean, if you you need both to to make a patient, you know, to to treat a patient. Really, I mean, you can't do it without dental assistants. And and one of the things that we find also is that you know, the dental assistants really help make the patients comfortable in the chair. I agree 100%. And they really relate with the patients in a lot of situations, right? Mm -hmm. So a lot of communication that goes in with dental assisting as well. Absolutely. I find you guys, like a dental assistant is the first point of contact most of the time, right? We get the patient from the front end, Mm -hmm. from the room, bring them back, talk to them. So you really are that comfort and that um, first point of contact with patients. So obviously for us, I mean, many dental assistants in in, in Trek and and there's such a vital role of you know communication, right? And, and I think that sometimes people don't realize, but I mean, be, being that first person that often interacts with the patients, I mean, really just t- talking to the patient, creating a story, making sure that they feel comfortable. Because the one thing that we know is that dentistry is not a comfortable place for most of the population to be. I agree. Right? And so we trust our dental assistants to really take our patients and, and make them comfortable. And I find lots of times nowadays too, people talk, social media, different aspects of even things that are out there on Netflix. People come in with these preconceived notions sometimes and our dental assistants are the ones that help um, calm them or spread truth. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And then really being able to do about a million things at once, I feel like is also part of the dental assistant. (laughs) Multitasking, number one on the list. Yeah, (laughs) yeah. yeah. And and, and it is is amazing, right? Because I mean, there's always a lot going on in the dental office and things can get quite busy. And the assistants really, you know, make sure that everything, everything runs smooth as well. Absolutely. Absolutely. I couldn't agree more. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I, mean, I think it's a lot of fun. And, and obviously, you know, the big aspect of getting into dentistry is taking care of patients. Right. Mm-hmm. And, you know, making sure that we can make people healthier, happier and, and smile more. And I think a, a dental assistant is a big, a big part of that as well. Yes, absolutely. We are. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So tell us a little bit about the SAFE program, because I know that, you know, dental assisting is something that may not be the front of people's minds as they graduate high school and they're like, okay, I'm graduating high school, not really sure what I'm gonna do. You know, explain how dental assisting works or how do you become a dental assistant? Yeah, sure. So dental assisting um, at SATE is a 10 month program. Um, So that program is combined of both theory classes. So where you come in, you learn the theory and clinical hands-on practice. So we will practice both on mannequins, which we call our Dexters. <laughs> um, and then we will progress into practicing on each other for some of our skills. And then we even run a full patient clinic for preventive procedures and x-rays. So students will get a full round of, of experience of trying new skills, learning these skills, and then trying hands-on. And I think that that's great for people to understand that, I mean, coming out of high school, you can go to say, and in 10 months, mm-hmm. you can be a certified or a registered dental assistant level two, Absolutely. which is what we need in, in many of the dental practices. And I think one of the other things recently, you know, I was fortunate enough to meet your dental students, your dental assisting students, excuse me, on campus. Mm-hmm. And, you know, their ability to get a job at this point in time is about 100%, probably about 110%, I, yeah. right? And so I think people just don't realize that assisting is, it's its not a long process to get through. I mean, in 10 months, you can be a dental assistant and have virtually 100% employment rate once you graduate. Yeah, we state graduates are at almost a 100% employment rate. It's yeah. fantastic. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and so I, I think something really good and, and, and helpful for people to know is you know, it's not a long process. It's, I mean, obviously there's time and money involved in Mm -hmm. getting in there and putting some, putting some effort in so that you can do a good job. Um, But then you get, you know, 
into into the real world in, in quite a short period yeah, of time. Ten months, you have a career. Yeah. Yeah, and that career you can take other places too. So if you are happy working chairside, which I love, it's fantastic. That's great. But you can also go into dental sales. You can go into administrative work. So you can take your dental assisting license and take it in other paths too to grow and expand. Yeah. Office management. Yeah. Yeah, yeah absolutely. I mean, many of our office managers. Uh, currently in our organization were dental assistants first. Right. Right. And they, they did some dental assisting and, and some of them will 20 years later still be dental assistants mm -hmm. and they because they love it. And others will say, hey, you know what, I want to try some admin work or some office manager work and they'll can move into different places. Yeah, right. I mean, fantastic. with that with that knowledge, they have a lot of options. Mm -hmm. They do. So I know that one of the things that Trek is excited to to talk about is that we are going to be uh, sponsoring a new scholarship. Um, inside a safe for dental assistants. I know, we're excited for this too. <laughs> Very excited for this scholarship and for the opportunity for our students to um, earn that scholarship and help pay some of their dental assisting tuition off. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, so for us, obviously, with Trek, I mean, you know, making the scholarship around, you know, helping others and being socially responsible is a big part of our organization. And so I know the scholarship that's coming up I mean one mm -hmm. of the primary focus is going to be on giving back in the community giving back in the school like just helping others to be able to achieve this scholarship mm hmm I yes and we do try to get our students out there in helping others we will work with um, the Alex bus yeah. in Calgary for right. example um, we will bring cups kids into our clinics and we will host preventive clinics and x-rays for them so we really try to start right at the foundation of getting our students in volunteering in our communities and helping out as well. That's great. Mm -hmm. So if somebody is interested and wants to become a dental assistant, what do they do at a high school or in a, as a second career? Because I know, you know, meeting again, your students just last month, there was, you know, some people that were in the 18 to 20 range yeah. and then some that were significantly older that were, you know, doing it as a second career, coming back into the workforce, you know what I mean? So there's, there's a lot of different options, but how do you become a dental assistant if you're interested? Um, if you're interested, well, the first thing you got to do is go to the state website and apply. So get your application in there. We do do two intakes a year. So we take um, students in September as well as May. So you can, if you don't get into one, you can apply for the other intake. Um, and then make sure you have all the course requirements that you need. Those are all listed on our state website. And then just... Yeah. That's it. Just okay. apply. Come meet us. Come to our open house. <laughs> yes, perfect. When is? Do you know when the next open house is? Um, well, we just hosted our open house a couple of weeks ago, okay. so we probably won't have another one until later on in the year. Perfect. And how many students, on average, do you guys take into a class for assisting? Yeah, so our uh, fall intake is larger. It's about 78. And then our May intake is 54. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, I mean, I think it's a great career. I mean, I know that we need dental assistants. I know that they're, you know, in high demand. And so I think, you know, a great place to be and, and, and something that, you know, you get to help people at the end of the day and make people smile. So it is a very fulfilling career. Yeah. yeah it really does bring me a lot of joy. I enjoy talking to my patients. <laughs> yeah. yeah, absolutely. Well, perfect. Thank you for your time. Thank you for having me.